Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. This is us today in Tokyo. We are going to Daikoku, but first we started the day off on our way to Asakusa. It was super rainy in the morning, so we took a taxi as you guys can see. It's super convenient, super cheap, and thankfully once we got to our hotel and everything, it had cleared up. It was a lot more sunny and super hot and humid. I think it was like 32 degrees Celsius this day, and on our way there we saw this R34. Not sure if it's a GTR, but we also saw this um, G35, but but Ascuso was super, super, super packed. I'd definitely recommend going early in the morning. This was like 11 a.m. and it was so busy, so, so busy. But really nice vibes anyway. And then later on, we met up with our friends at Tokyo Extreme Drive. They had this Liberty Walk GTR and Velsad RX-7 for rent. Uh, we rented these cars from them to take them out for the day to go to Daikoku Umihoto because today was the 7th of July. And so it was RX-7's day and all the RX-7's meet up. Now just a few clips of us cruising, uh, enjoy the sound notes, I won't talk too much. So I would definitely recommend you guys hiring a car from Tokyo Extreme Drive on Instagram, TikTok. Um, they do a whole package tour where they'll take you to the spots in Tokyo to sightsee and also to the car meets. It makes it very easy, but you do need your international driving permit to be able to drive these cars. Now here we are at the famous Daikoku parking area, you know, different days they have different cars here, uh, different events etc. It really depends like on the 8th, oh, sorry the 6th of August, it's 86 day, R34 day is 3 slash 4 etc. We were there on the 7th of the 7th which is RX7's day so expect to see a ton of RX7's in this vlog. But like I said earlier, to get to Daikoku you need a car. There's no point taking a taxi because you won't be able to get off the parking area and then you'll be stuck and stranded asking other people for uh, a lift and the police will shut this place down on at 8 p.m. usually. And what usually happens from here is they will, um, most of the cars will move to Umihotoru PA, which isn't so strict on uh, conditions and stuff because this is essentially a truck stop. It's not meant for car meets, but people do use it for that. Uh, the other thing to remember is like, you know, getting here, you need a car. So again, need your IDP, you need to find a rental company. Again, recommending Tokyo Extreme Drive because they are very easy to communicate with. They speak very good English and they know when the meets are happening and when what's going on. But generally, if you guys want to, organize something i'd recommend a friday saturday or sunday but saturdays again they usually close around 6 p.m rather than 8 but otherwise you know friday because there are people off work it's generally a little busier and getting there around 5 p.m you're gonna see all the cars show up and everything
I did. like the contact.
Give me Yeah. 